Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's uh, Brian from USA.Patriot.Cards, and I have a small, quick little mail day to show you guys. And uh, I picked this up, saw it was on auction. It was really 10 bucks, not a big deal, but if you don't know much about this guy, you should really go watch his story. I know he has a, a little ESPN 30 for 30, I think, or... There was something I was watching the other day on uh, on YouTube, and I'll and I'll throw a little bit of uh, of it on here, so you can just kind of get a gist of it. But the story of the Cardinals phenom pitcher turned outfielder ah, Rick Ankeel is uh, it's unlike almost any other story in in baseball. Not quite. Uh, a Shohei Otani, but he did in his entire career what Otani does every year. He was a phenom left-handed pitcher. They compared him to uh, Sandy Koufax. I mean, when he came up, he was 21. He was tearing up the National League. Wow, what a cool card. Bowman's Best Locker Room Collection. On card auto, rookie auto. So cool. Anyway, he uh, had like a September ERA under two his rookie year, went to the playoffs and just lost it. Couldn't throw strikes. Came back the next year. Um, the the yips continued. And in the uh, in the 30 for 30, it talks about how he finally gave up. Um, about two years or three years into his career, he just said, I can't do this anymore. And he went home and his, uh, agent was Scott Boris and, um, literally went to Tony LaRusse's office and told him, I can't do this anymore. Everybody was heartbroken for this kid. You know, they knew it wasn't anything that he, he was trying his best to get over whatever suddenly popped up in his life. He had a tough childhood. Um, it talks about some of that and the anxiety that he might have been dealing with, but um, everybody was rooting for him. And it's a tough one to get in. Oh, everybody was rooting for him, so they weren't. They understood when he when he went and basically hung it up, but they weren't ready to give up on him. He got home later that day, and uh, the GM for the Cardinals, Jockety, maybe I can't remember who it was, but called him and said, what do you think about playing in the outfield, Rick? I'm in Tony LaRusso's office sitting there waiting for him. I felt loneliness, despair, I, I, what I would never wish upon anyone. He comes in, I'm like, listen, I, I can't do this anymore. You know, he looked up and was like, okay, and, and you know, it's like, what now? I was like, I don't know. I'm just gonna go home. He fought as hard as you possibly could to get through it. I mean, he had done everything humanly possible to overcome it, and he just said, I can't do this anymore. So I get home that day. I didn't turn on the TV, I didn't turn on the radio, I just sat down on the couch. An hour or so later, Scott Boris calls. Hey, what are you doing? How you doing? Who's there with you? Nobody, but I'm fine. Okay. Well, what do you think about being an outfielder? Are you not hearing me? I just retired. Like, I'm done. No, Ank, I'm serious. What do you think about being an outfielder? So I was like, I, I was like, I don't know. I got to call you back. I don't know. I got to think about this. So I hang up. I kind of scratched my head, and now I'm standing up off the couch. I'm looking around, like, is this a joke? You know, or what's going on? Am I really even thinking about this? But I think I can hit. I always brag about it. 25, what else am I going to do? Now I'm up looking for an outfielder's glove in my closet somewhere, and my phone rings. It's Walt Jockety. I said, hey, it's Walt. I said, hey. He goes, listen, we're all in. If you want to give the outfielder thing a try. 
and um, he reported to uh, I think ex extended spring training or, or instructional league after you know, the next day with his outfielders club. He said he got that phone call and he he felt a weight lift off of him. He went in his uh, closet and found his outfielders glove. And I think within like a year, he uh, he was in the big leagues playing center field in St. Louis. So he wears number 24, and at the age of 28, he's back in the big leagues. They gave him such a warm welcome. They embraced him. Now let's listen to the uh, crowd. Anfield is in that Right fielder, Rick Anfield. There has never been a promoted player in all my 30 years that received that overwhelming embrace and outpouring of emotion that he was there and he had earned it, no favors, that that was a magical moment. There has been so much interest in Rick Ann Keel over the last few years, the way that he busted onto the scene and then conversion to it an outfielder and now back in the majors. Well, you just hope people have patience and realize that he's still not a polished major league hitter. Chance here to make an impression though with two runners aboard at second and third. Count of two balls one strike two to nothing Cardinals. The thing that I remember being in the stands is that crack. Well Kayla's ready the pitch. A swing and there's a drive right field. That's it way back. It might go. It's a gunner. It's a home run. Very cool uh, story. Very cool kid. Um, definitely a, a great 3030 if you've never seen it. I know if you just go to YouTube and type in Rick and Keel, it'll pop up. But uh, cool card. I remember. I remember him coming up. I remember his whole story. And uh, it's just a really uh, interesting one if you don't know it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. See. You. Bye.